last every time. Jesse, no, you could never lift your left knee. Yeah, that's right, you yeah, slide it in. Keep that weight, because remember, he wants to develop half guard. So he'll be pushing on that leg. So now you put the weight on the knee and back step and turn around, but triangle your leg. Yes, see that? Look at that, and he controls the ankle. Now, put that foot on your left hand, and, and, and yeah, like that, and super deep though, because you want to put your shoulder to the mat. See that? And he's gonna tuck roll, and when he tucks rolls, he's gonna get to that calf lock right there. Okay. No, no, the the, the calf lock is yeah. the other foot. So I go here. Yeah, exactly. You see now, look, uh, because Danny is like hiding it under his other leg like a triangle. That's okay. That's okay that he's doing it. Because I'll just go. He can just do that, or or you can double up. You uh, uh not double up. You can stay where you were on the other foot. Remember the other foot? Yeah. And just hold those toes? No, no. I know, I guess, fuck, this is complicated. <laughs> Why is life so complicated? Go Let's switch rewind. back to the original position you were in, Jesse. Yeah, like that, and your left hand was over on the other one. Grab the big toe. Always grab the big toe, guys. The big toe is the key to stop them from dorsiflexing. Like, crank that big toe down. Crank it down. Even your left one. Because I don't, I, don't, I don't even like to see it. I don't want. I want to see that big toe covered like that, so that when Danny starts kicking his legs like crazy, you've got control. Now, if you want, uh, Jesse, just pull that left. You your left that pull it off as you as you rotate his leg. You see, now left elbow in the butt, real tight, real strong. And now look at big toe covered right there. Big toe covered right there. Try to kick Danny. Try yeah. to fight. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing left. If you guys need to stomp, you can stomp on the inside of the ankle. Okay, you see that as he stomps? So what he's doing is he's pushing that tibia right into the calf and as he pulls hard, you know. So let's go to it again, go back to the core guard. So we're going to the mount and every time we mount, every time that guy controls that leg and he's here. Remember, never let your knee lift. If your knee lifts, he becomes half up. So you gotta keep some weight on that knee. Hamstring curl, your left leg. Yeah, you see, do you see Jesse's foot? When I said hamstring curl, the foot lifted. You see that? And that gives you a little room so you can back step triangle. Perfect, and grab onto that other foot. Once you do that, Danny, you try to go somewhere and, and there's nowhere to go. See that? Now, it's a little volatile. Do you feel that, Jesse? You crawled up to his toes. Yeah. If you're on that ankle with your left hand, uh, yeah, he'll dorsiflex and kick like a, like a mule. So we don't want, if we do have that situation, we, we gotta finish him fast. Right. In training, we don't wanna hurt anybody, so it's good to learn control, you know, so that the guy doesn't ever kick out, tries to kick, and you can slowly, like in answer to your question, Ted, like you can slowly, you know, you don't have to hurt your training partner because you have full control. You know? Teach me grappling, what's up guys? Coach Brian here, and I'm here to tell you about Suplez. Guys, the best dummies in the world for training. You wanna get good at throws, like Jesse, you need a Suplez speed dummy. You gotta get one for yourself. Go to petersongrapplers.com and get your own speed dummy. Because you have full control. If you're one of those violent, you know, maniacs, and you're just, like, you gotta go fast. <laughs> yeah, you might, you might get some people, but you're also gonna hurt your training partners, and we don't wanna do that. So, isn't it sweeter to like beat a guy in like a movie, just make some eye contact, kind of look at him and go, hey bro, this is your time, it's your moment. Make the good decision. And then the guy goes. It's, so, it's just, it's better that way, okay? Or you break his shit, it's up to you too. That makes for a good movie too. <laughs> Let's do it one last John time. John Wick. One last time. Backward roll, I like it. I always like rewinding. And you guys rewind, 
it like helps your brain learn because you go you go forward through the movie and you go backward. You learn it. It's like say the alphabet forward and backward. See that quarter guard? Look at how Danny slapped it on his side because he was trying to go off the guard. And now you guys can roll right into the truck and right into the calf lock. There's very little movement right here. Exactly. Sometimes there could be one last challenge. Like say Jesse's right hand's not on the foot and Danny straightens his leg. You could use the lockdown to kind of like, kind of swing it up to you. Yeah, just like that. And remember, high on the toes. Because a guy who Dorsey flexes, yeah, Dorsey like strong, Danny. You know, you know, really, I don't see your foot. No, no, hold on. There we go. Yeah, that's what, that's the hardest for Jesse. So Jesse's gotta get to the toes. But once he attacks toes, and let me show you this one too. Dorsey flex real strong. Look what I do. I go like this, and I squeeze the toes. Then I bend them. You hear all that cracking? <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll come to you. Did you guys hear that? Those are always good cracks. I, break their toes. I hope the camera it's got fun. that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you take the toes. Squeeze them squeeze. and bend them. Nice. And Boy. that way you get them in the plantar flex position Boy. to finish. All right, guys, let's do it. Ready? Go to work. All right, guys. Easy move. Easy move. Just break his toes. <laughs> Just break his toes. Uh, quarter guard. You're always going in the mount. They're always wrapping up your ankle. Keep weight on the knee. Hamstring curl. Little back step and triangle and grab that other foot. And they are pretty much done. If you know what you're doing, they're going to be in trouble. You're getting, going to get a lot more submissions. I'm not saying it's the best move in the world, but it's a great alternative to taking quarter guard and just saying, oh, I've got to get my ankle out so I can pass the guard. I've got to get the ankle out so I can mount. Uh, you know, looking for the back, all those things, those are great basics. But some of you out there are gonna grow exponentially in your game just by adding in this little technique, all right? You can also get the back. You can also get the twister. You can also get the banana split, all that other stuff. But the calf lock is sitting right there. Enjoy. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below, share this video. Thank you guys so much for supporting this channel. Everybody on Patreon, everybody who uh, contributes through PayPal or comes to our shop online and buys uh, a few items. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I love this channel. I love everything that I, I, I get the support from you guys. And I, I love doing this every day. That's why I'm so active and we work so hard to bring you this content basically for free. So other than watching an ad, I just want to say thank you. All right, guys, we'll see you guys next time with more great stuff. Thank you.